I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Woo! Welcome back to 24 Hours to Hell and Back, Season 3, Episode 5. This is Seafarer's Family Restaurant, and I hope I'm saying this right, in Manquin, Virginia. I think you got I've it. Never, I, I'm pretty sure that's what I've never been to Virginia. Um, I was really interested in see this one though because it was a seafood restaurant and I love I am born and raised in Hawaii. I love seafood. I oh. love fresh seafood. Yes. So I was excited to see how bad this seafood was. Yes. Oh. Yes. And this was a really good one. This was an awesome one. Sab and I were just saying that before we started that this is probably the best one of the season. Yes. Yeah, so so good. We can't wait to talk about it. But before I do that, I have to introduce my lovely, lovely incredibly talented like food enthusiastic enthusiast enthusiast Enthusiast, extraordinaire you got it Saba Hyla Miriam yes thank you so much oh my goodness thank you thank you thank you actually keep going if you you don't mind no Um, keep going yeah I got more (laughs) what's up (laughs) y'all this is I'm I'm so excited and I'm Zia Anderson and I'm excited to talk about this because I love seafood so I was really excited to get into this yes girl (sighs) This was the episode. This was the episode. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, definitely before we dive in on specifics, just overall thoughts on the episode. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> you know me. what? I'm, I'm so mean, excited. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Z is like choking. She's like, I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, though, we were actually really happy while we were watching this episode because although it was like the same, you know, standard format as the rest of them, it was just a little bit more soap opera. Ish. Yes, you know, like there was like a lot of drama and scandal. So drama. <laughs> there was so much family it was drama exciting. in this. Yeah, it yes. was really good. Yes, like none other. So yes. that was really fun. So I, I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, I have to. I have to agree with you. That was my favorite part of this whole thing. Yeah, it's just the the family dynamics there. Like I've seen different like family dramas in this show because a lot of these a lot of times these restaurants are family owned. That's right. Which the more I watch this, the more I realize don't ever own anything with your family. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, I like it's just I it's don't a know. risk. It's, it seems like a risk. Yeah. It seems like oof. My auntie even said that before. Like she used, was renting out a house, and my sister wanted to rent it. My auntie Kelly was like, "I love you, but no, mm-hmm. because that you just don't rent to family. That it just never works out well." And I feel like business is the same sort of thing. Yep. Anyway, this family was crazy, mm-hmm. so I think that that's a good place to dive in on. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how this, this what it starts on. It's, oh, gosh. So there's Amber and Autumn, and they're both sisters, and they're co-owners. It's If I remember correctly, Amber owned 40% of the business. That's right. Autumn owned 20%, and Got then it. the parents owned the other 20%. Yes. But the exactly. parents weren't there because, as we find out, the father is an alcoholic. He is apparently really sick, and he, they don't even show him in the episode. No. Like, he was doing so badly that he wasn't even there. Yeah, and that tells you a lot. It was that bad, y'all. Which... It was that uh, bad. It, yeah. And, I mean, you really... There's so much family dysfunction, and you see where it comes from. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah, it's just one... I don't know. It's one of those things that having... Growing up that way causes a lot of, of baggage when you get older. And I just... I know it's hard for kids that grow up with alcoholic parents. Absolutely. So... And- you see a rub off, yeah. you know, we, we do see the dysfunction spill over into their children, you know, Amber and her situation and with her son, Logan, who um, was also an addict. Yeah. Doing like what? Meth and like crack heroin. and heroin at 16, at 16. Ooh. But in this episode, they show us he's what? 20? Yeah. 20. He's, he's 20, 20 years old in so this episode. So young. He's so young. He's cute. He's so cute. You know what? I'll have to admit he is really cute. He's adorable. And I'll also say this real quick. You know, he really held his disposi- his disposition well. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he really, did. He, like, you would never think that he was an ex- substance user i would like, not have guessed it no never. i agree yeah he looked really good he so. looked great and he was really honest and he was yeah. really open and you could tell he worked hard or he wanted to work hard and he did work hard and he like had this real spark yes it seems like it and it's it sucks because this this restaurant was thrust into this family's lap and they didn't really want it no uh, amber got into an accident and yes. was injured and put her she got a 40 she couldn't walk for two years first of all oh my god she was in insurance before that she got a forty seven thousand dollars settlement and mm-hmm. all of it went into the restaurant so she's stuck there everybody's savings are there and then you have autumn who says that she 
put her blood, sweat, and tears into the restaurant, but yeah. apparently, according to everyone else, does nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and but not according to her. Not according to her. <laughs> according to her, she's done a lot. Yeah, and she should run the whole place on her own. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, hey? Right? People yeah. that have problems, they never think they have a problem. Oh, no, not at all. Oof. They think that, if anything, everyone else is the problem, and they are the say-all, be-all. Yes. Yes. Yep, and that seemed like that's sort of where she was at. She thought she could run the restaurant better. She was giving her boyfriend, Phil, who also didn't want to be there. Oh he quit three gosh. times and kept getting brought back because it was her boyfriend <laughs> who's giving him hours <laughs> over Logan, telling Logan to stay home. I'm sorry. Um, Phil was the last person I would have ever expected Autumn was having an affair with at the I restaurant. Know. I know. Like, he looked like he could have been somebody's grandpa. Yeah, he like, looked like he could be her father. Sweet guy. Okay, don't get me wrong. He seemed like a sweet old man, mm-hmm. but... Yeah, I just didn't think he I just he just didn't strike me as somebody who would be all low key having an affair with somebody nope. like <laughs> <laughs> having an affair with she's she's clearly very professional. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, that was the best part. Oh my god. Okay, so just jumping a little bit forward yeah. into um the situation where Gordon Ramsay was discussing the restaurant with everybody and wanted right. everyone to be, you know, mm-hmm. upfront about what was really happening. The honesty, I'm going to have to give it up. Okay, yeah. the honesty between Logan, but this is more so of like a resentful battle. Very. Logan, Amber, and Autumn. Those three, I was just like, <laughs> what is, did like the way that they were throwing each other under the bus one after the other, like it was just like, okay, who's next? Who wants to just disrespect the next family member? Like it was really sad to see because typically with your family, especially, you know, you want to protect them. You want to make them look good. Of course, but these guys, think. uh-uh. They were so quick to, like, humiliate one another almost. They I were. didn't want to have to say this, but uh, <laughs> Amber. Oh, yeah. He, Logan, Logan goes smoking outside weed. smokes weed. <laughs> Logan's like, it's legal. Yeah, he's like, what do you, who cares? Like, what? <laughs> who cares? I'm sorry. That was uh, so lame. And then uh, he's like, well, Amber's sleeping with Phil the line cook. like, And okay. hiring him, giving him shifts over me. It was like, oh, my God. And then you just see the do- My favorite was Autumn's daughter. I'm sorry, not Autumn. Amber's daughter. Oh the other daughter who worked there who was just like, she was just like, oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. Just she was hurting. Like, pup, like putting her hands over her mouth like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. It I was felt ridiculous. Her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt her pain. My heart was literally pounding yeah. like for her. Oh, yeah. that was really funny. <laughs> yep. So this is definitely yes. Uh, and this is just this is just the first level of problems in this restaurant. That's yes. not that even we haven't even gotten to the food yet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we have to get food. to the seafood. Ooh, the disrespect with the family and then the disrespect with the food. Oh, okay. my God. It's couldn't just, put it any better. Let's go, girl. <laughs> you could not have put it any better. <laughs> right? It's Seriously. It's an all-around disrespectful establishment. It was so bad. Mm-hmm. Overseasoned crab, a bunch <laughs> of rotten seafood. The kitchen <laughs> had no idea what they were doing. It was disgusting back disgusting. there. Disgusting. They were gagging, <gasps> Zia. They couldn't. Yeah, as soon as, as, soon as Ramsey walked in gagging yeah and ramsey had another so he had someone come in as a diversion because you know they're having to do that a lot more now this is the third season people are starting to get it yeah so they had rock harper come in who was a season three winner of hell's kitchen so he definitely knows what he's doing his standard he's up to gordon ramsey's standards yeah and i guess he also lives in the area so he tries to get like people who own and he owns a restaurant now so handy right which is so great to have right there yeah so he came in as a diversion and i mean he thought it was atrocious too yeah he was just like this was awful yes (laughs) this was awful everybody was horrified and like again the gagging the amount of times that everybody was like coughing gagging like like you know just exhibiting like as if they were gonna barf right there on the spot was i i i Everyone. don't think i've seen it like that on any of the other episodes this was one of the worst ones i it think was i've ever one seen of the worst and behind the grill yes or the the, the stove, the stove. Mm-hmm. oh you brought this to my attention before oh my the God. show you saw <laughs> what did you see behind the grill i saw <laughs> oh my gosh okay so i noticed that there was one of those um 
like uh, containers, like you know, sauce containers from like a fast food joint. Yeah, like McDonald's or something. Yeah, so yeah. for example, like, you know, the little container you would see, um, it was empty, of course, yeah. but like that you would dip your nuggets in, like right. a sweet and sour one, you know, you could see the white container, like it didn't have the the top, the, the top on, of course, but you could just see the empty container just sitting there right on the top. How so, did that get there? Yeah, right? <laughs> well, Why is that there? Well, and then, and then that also goes to show how bad, like it just adds, yeah. you know, to how bad bad the food is that the cooks aren't even eating there you know the people working in the kitchen regardless of what position they're in nope. they're not even eating they're not even eating the food that is that they're making it's and so that bad. is in the kitchen that is terrible they're going to go out and get fast food uh, yeah. instead like right there that was very telling yeah well, they that little container eat anything that's just that's made in that kitchen it's yeah. that was such a disgusting kitchen besides just the sauce container that was behind that stove yeah. there was a layer of sludge like inches oh, deep it, it looked like it was like 4 or 5 inches of just sludge and dirt and grime and disgustingness oh god and 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 i for, I'm, i forgot to mention this at the beginning of the show we're going to do a yelp dive yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite part because I was thinking about how it had any positive re reviews beforehand. But we are going to do a Yelp dive. That's our special segment. We're going to dive into the before and after the renovation, best yes. and worst on both sides. Yes. So that's going to be really fun because I cannot wait to see what those Yelp reviews are before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not good. <laughs> anyway, so back sad. to how disgusting that kitchen is. Wow. <laughs> Um, oh. Yeah, so it was really, really gross, and yes. the, the dysfunction. It just—they didn't know what they were doing at all. They no. had been running this restaurant for seven years, having no idea what they're doing. But it didn't seem like they learned very much along the way. And no. I am sorry, there is no excuse for a disgusting kitchen. No, even if you don't know what you're doing, you know that your kitchen needs to be cleaned, one hundred percent, and your food needs to be fresh. Yes, and I feel like this is something we are always so boggled by every time we yes. we watch an episode of Twenty Four Hours to Hell and Back is. How are standard just cleanliness business practices not in place? How? I don't get it. You know, like this is, you wouldn't do this at home, right? Like, you know, you, you wouldn't just have food lying around rotting or, you know, you're going to clean out your fridge once it starts to stink. Yes. So it's like... Oh. Every time I go grocery shopping, I go through my fridge before I put everything away to make sure there isn't anything that like got pushed to the back that's going bad. Uh, yeah, and and that's not going to contaminate now the new fresh yes. groceries that you're bringing into the fridge. Like it's just mind boggling. Like how can you care less about your establishment that you you know because at this point it's not even about just you. It's about right. the people you are affecting. I would be mortified if even one person left my restaurant with food poisoning. Oh my god! Or yeah. any kind of a illness or sickness from my food. Right. I would be mortified. There were dead flies everywhere. Oh my god! <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> there was like there were dead flies everywhere. <laughs> there there were. was so gross. It was stinky. And talk they about said. like you know spreading bacteria. Flies land on. All kinds of gross yeah. things. And they throw up on it. It's just... Ugh. Oh, God. You don't want flies in your kitchen. It's just disturbing. Oh, my God. And that banana pudding. <sighs> that banana pudding. When Gordon was like, does this come with a diaper? I was yeah. like, exactly. It's like, how much are you charging for this? Six dollars. Oh, d d no. Can you imagine getting charged six dollars for that slop? Um, It should be the other way around. You should be paying people to eat that. <laughs> Thousands. This is a challenge. If mm. you can eat this and not throw up, <laughs> get a bunch of money. Here you go. This is Fear Factor now. Oh, <laughs> that restaurant could have been part of Fear Factor. It really could. Have. And it definitely did. Kind of, no, I'm. It's it's, it's so true. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. And it definitely <laughs> seemed like Logan cared, and he didn't know what the heck he was doing. He was thrown into the kitchen. He's 20 yeah. years old. He's never had a day of training in his life. He's just oh trying to figure gosh. it out. Like, I wouldn't know how to cook if you just were like, "Hey, get in the kitchen at 20." I'd be like, "Okay, you want rice? I can make rice." See, <laughs> like, and that, and that is what is so commendable about him. Yeah, you know, and and that was one thing that I thought about while we were watching the episode was the loyalty. You yeah, know, with Logan and and his mom to her parents. Yeah. Don't you just love that? That was really sweet. Yes. Well, because she and he said that when he was when he got clean and sober, she was there for him. Yes. And so he wants to be there. And that's really nice. I and thought that was so beautiful. It shows me it, it, it like gives me hope. I have a, an addict family member that like I want her to watch this episode. Aww. She's on the run, so I can't find her. But oh, if she did, I'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> Watch this episode. That was the kicker. It's really touching. <laughs>
<laughs> Let me send it to you. <laughs> That'd be funny if she Something got it like, like six months later. <laughs> I know, right? And she'd be like, you know what? You're right. But it's just, it, it. it's one of those things that like you you need family and support when you're trying to get clean. And like, Absolutely. I, it's, it's, it's really hard. And so that was, it was yeah. really sweet to see how much it meant to him and how much he wanted to give back. Oh yeah. That was really nice. But it was also heartbreaking at the same time to see how like, I don't just relentlessly resentful Amber was. Oh, she was. Oh my gosh. So negative. Like you, yeah, so negative. Like you would think that she was the one that had gone through, you know, a horrific car accident like her sister did. Or was an addict. Yes. Like neither she, I mean, it sounded like she had some past trauma that she needed to work through. Yes. Because it seemed like she got a lot of the brunt from her father. That's what she said. Yes. Yeah. And you know, that's, she... We'll just we can just go ahead and jump ahead. I, they basically told her that she needed to take a step back. That's right. And she was very reluctant. She did not want to give up her position there. Mm -hmm. She seemed like she really wanted to be there. But it seemed like they, they told her, like, you need to go take care of yourself. You need to get past whatever this is. You need to take some time away, take some time for yourself, talk to somebody, see if they're, you know, yeah. and I think they were right. That's it's really like you need to take care of yourself before. Otherwise, you're just bringing everybody else down with you. You took the words right out of my brain and mouth. Like, that's exactly <laughs> Zia. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And that was really the only thing that was going through my mind when I was watching her, her arrogance and her entitlement to the business when it's like, mm -hmm. listen, you're not even contributing. Like when Gordon Ramsay and Amber were having their one on one and Gordon asked Amber, tell me one good thing about your sister. What what when she walks through the door, what does she bring to this place? Yeah. And Autumn was like, I, I and you could see the sincerity in her face. You know, she was getting all flushed she and red. Really and bad. She was crying. Yeah. So, you know, she's not being she's not just trying to be like rude and disrespectful right. to her sister and hateful you know she truly couldn't think of one good thing that is so horrible that's a bad sign that is a very bad sign and it just goes to show how toxic amber is to the whole family it's like everybody could be team players everybody could be so good to one another but it's like that one person just that one rotten apple totally will spoil and ruin the rest no that you're is absolutely so true. right it is and, yeah, and she had to go that yeah they made they she really made the right decision yeah. i agree Oh, yeah. so that was sad. Mm -hmm. And we spent so much time talking about the yep. family oh dynamics. Gosh. But we just really quickly have to talk about the before and after of the renovations because the before was oh terrible. Oh, my gosh. The after was amazing. Oh, the after, I was so impressed. So great. And I hate to say it, like, you know, with some of the past few episodes, I have not been that impressed. Yeah. Like, I would only kind of see a little bit of a difference, even yeah. though it would be nice. They're always nice renovations, so please don't, don't get me twisted, okay? <laughs> They're always nice. However, sometimes... Sometimes you like you can really tell that they put a little bit more effort, you know, in some of the places than others. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the, you know, the type of place that it is. and they Or can't. how much work it needs. Even. Yeah, yeah. So they can't do too much. Mm -hmm. But with this one, they turned it around. Oh, it was amazing. They turned it, it around. Was it was beautiful. Loved it. And they changed, they revamped the entire menu. It's not a seafood place anymore. That's right. Which it shouldn't be because they could not do seafood. It was all rotten. It was disgusting. They basically made it like a diner. <laughs> yes. I love the way you're like, it was disgusting. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so bad. Yes. They basically made it like a diner. Yes. Steak and eggs, burgers. Like It was like an all-day sort of eatery thing. Yes. And it was an easy menu for them to do. Everything was fresh. Everything was really good. Yes. And the kitchen had a really rough time to start yes they but they did. eventually pulled it together i mean poor logan he had one day of training oh one day that's yeah. it and the other really cool thing is that they had rock come and basically act as like a mentor to the restaurant and to logan and i thought that was so sweet and they were so deserving of it mm -hmm. that's the best part you know see gordon will reward the right people and yeah. the right establishments, he knows. you know, when they deserve. Exactly. He knows. And they did deserve it. They and really he was, did. you could tell he, he was really happy to like kind of go that extra mile for them once autumn got out yes once autumn got out he was yes. like all right like now you guys are safe happy healthy ready to move forward and successfully too so i was really happy to see that. <sighs> yeah that was really sweet <laughs> that was this nice. was definitely one of those like oh my gosh i really am rooting for these people in this restaurant i yes. want them to do good mm -hmm. so i hope that they're doing good they also changed the name yeah i don't know if that stuck but they changed it yes, to it halterman's did. eatery it did it Great. did stick it's on it's on uh yelp yep 
Good. Mm -hmm. Because that's their name. That's their actual family name, which makes sense. It's a family restaurant. Name it after yourself. Absolutely. So that was really nice to see. And, you know, like I I said, the kitchen had a really, really rough time to begin with. Yes. But it won't always be that busy. So they'll have time to sort of get it together. And with Rock there helping them out, that's going to be, I think, going to be a lot better for them. Oh, gosh. And they're three months later. It seemed like they were doing well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The three-month update. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah, I was so So. happy for them. Because that's exactly what it should have been that's exactly how they should have been moving progressing going forward it was beautiful yeah yeah i'm, I'm proud of them like i yeah. i now kind of going into predictions real quick yeah i would eat there me too i would eat there i would go eat there i think that i think that now that they have all new stuff and now. everything yeah. yes now that they have all new stuff and everything is brand new they really can take pride in the restaurant and in this place that they own and yes. they will want to keep it that way at least i hope Yes. Fingers crossed. Yes. So I think now is a good time <laughs> to see if they've stuck with that. Yes. So. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, let's get into these Yelp reviews. Yes. All righty. Uh, okay, so I just want to first start off by saying um, that they Yelp are the not only acclaimed eatery, but they do have four out of five stars on Yelp. Oh, good All for right. them. Yeah. So, okay. you know, like, they're actually doing fairly well. So yeah. They have four out of five stars like i trust places that are three out of five three and a half i'll go to yeah yeah depending on what the reviews are yeah i don't know why what's the lowest you'll trust (laughs) like three and a half i've gone to places that have a three and a half yeah there's a place in here called canters that has a three and a half but i actually really like canters so i go there (laughs) yeah see and those are the places that i feel bad for you know the ones that deserve more but don't get it don't get it yes all right you guys let's get into halter men's all right, so I want to start off with the before reviews. Mm-hmm. And now, this is... Okay, so here's the, here's the gag, all right? Because we would all think that the before reviews that I found were going to be... Would be terrible. Like all of them. Yeah, you would think. But I'm talking... I found consecutive, consistent five out of five stars. All before. Uh, yes, all before. So check it out, all right? So we have got... This is uh, one screen grab that I found. This is like like pretty recent. Um, well, I mean, not pretty recent, but like as of last year. Okay. One of them is from actually 2008, and it's from someone who is like verified. So here we go. The first one, five stars. Delicious. Everything was top notch, and the service was outstanding. I can't wait to go back. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We're a little bit of a shocker. Yeah. Okay. Not what I was expecting. And then the <laughs> next one, I know. The next one, 11 11 2018. A must stop on Highway 316. So that's interesting to know did we know that they were on a, like along a highway i saw that they were in a strip mall but i don't remember that, that. yeah okay yeah because huh. i don't think i heard that either okay. so i guess they're you know along the highway don't let the strip mall look fool you it says awesome oh. great tasting food fresh seafood fresh seafood you think these reviews are real okay Some fresh seafood? What? What? daily specials and homemade desserts okay interesting yeah, yeah, that banana pudding was homemade but it did not look good yeah you know what i mean Oof. like where like i i don't know but see but this is why i had to go with these good reviews all good 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 because here's one by shannon again she's verified all right huh. so it's like how can we not trust a verified user i mean she's been doing this a while there you go you know we got to give her some credit yeah. looks like whole in the wall, but don't be fooled. I love how she spelled whole. <laughs> I don't know if we can trust her. Never mind. Was it W H O L? Yeah, that's oh, how she no. spelled it. W H O L. Hell no. It is a hole. Hey, hell. In the wall? No. Hole no. Hole no. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. No drum for that. All right. The owners are amazing and the food is phenomenal, she says. Okay. Oh, wow. Hubby got some seafood, got a seafood platter. He got some of it boiled and some fried. Loved every bite of it. Like, Interesting. Really? Like, it just makes me wonder, like, how... I don't... I, okay. Well, uh, those are the ones before. Yeah. So there's your there's your before, guys. And uh, here, let's get into a couple after. Oops. Looks like kind of got kicked out there. There we go. Okay. So now check this out. All right. Here's oh, some after. no. So this is what's interesting. Yeah. So I love to, like, kind of give, you know, everyone here, like, the unexpected. So we would have thought they would have been doing better afterwards. But no, guys... This is as of February 4th. You guys, that's today. That's Someone today. Someone just posted this saying they might have changed their name and appearance, but it was publicized on TV. The standards that the standards that they believe in, dirty in capital letters, people don't change. Once I see that, I could never eat there. 
Wow. So this sounds kind of more like someone who didn't go there. Yeah, that doesn't eat. sound like they went there. They just watched the episode tonight. Oh, and, that's not cool. Are and they judged verified? it Get for their, yeah, here. bye Shelly. Get out of here. <laughs> Somebody paid her to say that. Wow. But we do have, again, and I love, I really do love to go for the verified people. Yeah. We have uh, Michelle underneath. She gave it five out of five. This is January 19, 2020. So just recently, she said, awesome food, best seafood and VA. You need to come here. Stop reading and just put the address in your GPS and enjoy a very satisfying meal. Family based restaurant and food is delicious and fresh. Interesting. So I, okay. I really like her review. It's short and sweet. And I think we might be able to trust her. And then we've got this person who came through with a three out of five so not too bad um they changed their name recently to halterman's restaurant was remodeled by ramsey's tv show this person said however ramsey missed the mark at the entrance and not having a versatile or sorry a vestibule wow put in to keep the cold air blowing in the restaurant when folks came and went i mean come on that's not that big of a deal yeah <laughs> like, that's it's a like, little bit yeah like, okay. is, that, is that a fair reason to knock them i i wouldn't say I so no but pretty much um you know this person just goes on to say that the food was excellent um but one of them was supposed to get hush puppies in a side with their entree and only got one of the sides okay so maybe missed the mark a little bit there but you know what i'm really that's looking just for a service issue exactly yeah. that's a service issue yeah. something that you know can be quickly fixed but mm-hmm. you know i'm here for the food i want to know if the food is good fresh and from the sounds of it by Michelle, that is. It is. It's good so, and fresh. Okay, I, good I for them. I would say they're doing okay. Good for or them. Good. No, yeah. better than okay. They're doing good. I'm, that doing makes good, me Zia. really happy to hear. I want to. I honestly kind of want to check back in on these guys in like six months or so to see how, how they're doing. I know, right? I hope it's good. <laughs> and I cannot wait until next week to we... Bleh, bleh, that wasn't a word at all. <laughs> I can't wait until next week until we... My tongue was like, uh-uh, you're not saying things Don't anymore. worry. I understand your language. <laughs> Great. You I know, know I got that's you, That's why girl. I do this show yeah. with you. Yes. Yeah, girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> can't wait to see who Ramsey yells at next week. Yes. What restaurant, who he gets into a fight with, and it looked like there was going to be fighting in next episode, yeah. so I'm really, really excited about Looks that. juicy. Oh, uh, yes. But until then, <laughs> Where can people keep up with you and your uh, 24 hours of Hellenback obsession? Yes, honey. All right. You guys can keep up with me <laughs> on my Instagram. It is I am Merriam. You can also check out my website, subahilamariam.com and Twitter. I'm going to start plugging in my Twitter because I really got to get that, you know, mm-hmm. thing going. Mm-hmm. So it's simply at subahilamariam. Bye, guys. And my name is Zia Anderson. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Zia underscore land. That is spelled X-I-A underscore land. It's a weird one. And if you <laughs> like video games, come hang out with me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zia land. Yeah. All right. All right. Until guys. next time, clean your kitchen. Yeah. And your food. <laughs> Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. 